the career of valley violence was for the better part of last year and this year nearing a breaking point until the national security committee chaired by president Uru kenyatta resolved to have the army involved in restoring peace Besides civilians, innocent residents losing their lives, the government officers and politicians to have become the victims of the runaway insecurity associated with the banditry and cattle wrestling. Many stakeholders, including politicians, have often called for the resignation of the tiered member of parliament, Asman Kamama, as the chair of the National Assembly Committee on Security. And after months of lobbying, Kamama is finally set to lose hold of the powerful committee. According to the leader of the government business, Ed Ndwale, jubilees in the process of coming up with another person to replace Kamama will be made the chair of another House committee. Dwale says the decision was arrived at to allay the notion that Asman Kamama, who hails from Baringo County, has been a stumbling block to efforts to end the perennial keto wrestling menace in the Kerio Triangle. Dwale says Kamama has accepted the decision of the party. <laughs> Baringo well, residents are now waiting with bated breath for the outcome of the security operation that has now been upscaled by the entrance of the military. The military that joined GSU and regular police officers in the operation are tipped to accelerate the efforts to neutralize the bandits holding illegal guns in the region. It remains unclear how long the operation will take, but hopes and fears abide whether the peace will be restored in Kero Valley and if the measures used to achieve that peace are sustainable. Armed conflict in Kero Triangle has been intermittent for several decades. 20 people have been killed in Baringo County alone this year and thousands others have been displaced in Baringo, El Geo, Marakwet and West Pokot counties. Reporting for Ebro TV, I'm Jeff Haimba.